probably connected and probably others. Too. I was hoping that they would just stay there if, if not. Um, okay. Now that everybody's here. Uh, let's see. There's the link to the table. And then once you look at the table, and I, I realize that this is, this, I'm sure that there's going to be a, um, a couple mistakes, but, you know, try and log into the IP assigned to you. If two people log into one um, EC2, nothing's going to crash. They'll, we'll just um, have two of you on there and have to, you know, figure out which one's in the wrong one. Um, and then once you, let's see. Once you find your IP, then we want you to do this. Oh, why is not working? There we go. Um, so once you find your IP, just do SSH EC2 user at your IP. Um, and then let me know um, if you are having issues. The password um, for everyone right now is um, tutorial 21. Once you get into your specific EC2 instance, um, you can Either change the password if you want to make sure that you're the one, only one logging in there, or just leave it as tutorial 21. There's not a whole bunch of security issues um, unless you're really worried about one of your coworkers uh, logging in and playing a prank on you, which is something I definitely would do. Um, so um, if you don't remember how to change password, just Type password um, and then give it a new password, and then that will you, you know make sure you write it down. Or I guess you're not supposed to write down passwords, but you know make sure you remember it, and um, you can then log. You can then be the only one that logs into that EC2 instance. I will give everybody a few minutes to um, try it out, and then. Um, yeah, go ahead, Marion. Hank, how do we join through the browser? Um, I don't think you can join through the browser. That is a good question. Uh, I don't know right now. Let me see if I can figure out a way to do that. So right now, it's basically just SSH and IPs. Well, we can't log into that from our computers so are right, so you're a, a browser login so you're okay so you're you're either on windows or blocked okay um yeah. okay we've got security um, issues so we can't get out okay so we'll have to let's see uh, that is a good question um So I will have to look into that, Marion, and um, probably contact people later. Um, okay, no worries. Yep. Marion, if it's any help, I've just logged into the EC2 from the VDI um, through the, the Linux VDI, and that worked. Am I not allowed to do that, do you know? That's a very good question, Melissa. Um... It does work. I'm, 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 I'm there. So That's great. Um... Joe, have you tried it as well? It's just worked for me too. Yeah. So whether ah! security, whether security is going to be um, having words with us in the morning or not, I don't know. But all right, I'll do it as well. Then we're in for a penny and for a pound, as they say. <laughs> That's good. Yeah, so th this, you know, there's there's tools on Windows um, that are able to, you know, you can use um, MOBA XTERM or PuTTY to 
simulate SSH and log into things. Obviously, Linux computers work, and then Mac OS have um, you can do that straight away as well. So I'm hoping this is the most universal solution, but I'll definitely look into the browser just in case you guys get in trouble. <laughs> Um, all right, is um, so hopefully most people are in. Um, and honestly, that's all we really wanted to accomplish. If you want to um, CD to the D1 directory, um, you will see um, a directory within there that says Met Plus Tutorial um, 4.0. Um, and that is where we've loaded all of the Met Plus data. Um, actually, there's one more thing I wanted to try. Let's see, where's my next link? There we go. If everybody would try this next command. Um, and, and make sure that that comes back with an answer. Oh, that's great, Wesley, that uh, MOBA X term worked. So the neat thing about these cloud EC2 instances is I have preloaded, perfect, great, Jim. Yeah, perfect. Um, yeah, so I've preloaded these EC2 instances with the all of the correct paths. So if you're going through the tutorial, um, you can skip all the way to um, verify environment is set correctly and it should be. Um, but if, you, if you're ever doing the online tutorial, um, you can skip a, most of the setup stages and just go to the verify and should be good to go. Um, and this is, if anyone um, ends up running this AMI in your own AWS, um, you know, it should be the same thing. Pass are set up, EC2 user is pretty much ready to run. How are we doing, Hank? Um, I, this is, I think, all we wanted to accomplish, if I'm not mistaken. Um, okay. I didn't know if you wanted to run I don't think we're running through any um, actual Met Plus tools today. Is that correct? No, it was just to um, you know verify that it's set up. And I mean, if if you wanted to proceed to the um, to just the plot data plane um, aspect, just to show people how to to run plot data plane, you could do that. Um, Marion, I, I just saw your email. Um, all right, are you, is, is it working now to log into the cloud or, or are we still having problems for the middle? Yeah, no, I've got it now. Okay. Great. I might be lynched by tomorrow, as I say, when the cybersecurity <laughs> police comes knocking on the door, but we'll see. Well, it's been nice knowing you then, Marion, I guess. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> so, so basically everybody, um, on this call is set up and, and running now, um, we're in good shape. Yes. I think I'm going to swear all the Met Office staff to secrecy. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, it just goes to show that working on the cloud may be pretty easy. Good to know. Yeah, hopefully. Uh, yeah, I'm not sure. I'm, I, I didn't really prepare for the data plane stuff, Tara, so. Um, okay, and, yeah. and that's I mean, it's it's just it would just be a matter of, of jumping in and copying and pasting. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Good point. Um, and then, uh, will you be putting um, the instructions that you just went through um, 
like on the Google Drive or something like that? Yeah, I can do that for sure. So yeah. that, um, you know, as people come back to the cloud, they can, um, you know, refresh their memory. Oh, yeah. That's and that's and we're going to, have you discussed leaving instances up and, and that kind of stuff? Uh, that's just what uh, you reminded me of. Um, okay. Thanks. <laughs> so um, it costs us money um, to keep these running. Um, so I will probably stop all of them at some point before the next tutorial session, which means that all of your IPs will change. Um, this is uh, getting a little bit into the whole AWS thing. Your instance will still be the same. So any data that you put on your particular instance, um, I will definitely keep track of who's is who's. Um, all of that will stay the same. You'll log into the same one, but the IP that you use will be different next time. So you'll have to refer to this table every time we start a tutorial. Um, and then the next question is, I was going to stop most of these or all of them at the end of the day today. If anybody wants to use it longer or um, you know, wants to use it for the next couple of days, just email me and we can keep it up. How many people, yeah, so, just a raise of hands, how many people feel that they would like to have it um, up and running um, for the next, you know, for a, another couple of days? Okay, only a few. So Hank, I, I mean, I, I think being the difference between leaving them all up and and um, shutting them down is, you know, is like not all that much. Not yeah. all that much. Maybe just leave them up. Okay. And and why don't we see how quickly we accumulate our our um, our costs? Charges. Oh yeah. Okay. Yeah. Um, the charges and and if um, you know say coming up to the the um, Christmas break or you know the holiday break or whatever um, maybe we stop it at that point um, just to you know not be charged over the holidays or or something. How do you yeah, feel about that? I think that's a great idea. And so J Jim asked a question. You know, will the ECQs live through the training course? Yes, they won't be. I mean, our, our original plan was them not being up all the time, but we are going to save your instance um, so that you can keep using the same one. Um, we have some plans, possibly after January, to upgrade all of these to 4.1. And in that case, we'll, we'll have to redo them all. Um, but until then, they'll be the same, same ones. Yeah. And then Ben, you just uh, said something about plot data plane also succeeds. Yeah, that's great. Yeah, I just thought I would check and it, it found it also. So the path is set. Oh, that's awesome. Great. So Jack, Jack yeah, go ahead. go ahead. No, go ahead, Hank. I was gonna say, yeah. Jack, um, absolutely. If you want to go to um, the tutorial area, uh, they're basically all the same after the setup. So, um, yeah, I I think the let's see which one you sent. I would yep. Yeah, I would just do plot data plane and see how that goes. And, and it, it's designed to just be copy and paste, right. or not plot data data plane. I'm sorry, PCP combined is oh no, plot data plane is the first one. Yeah. Yeah. So if you step into that, um, you know you. You, what you do is you just copy um, what is here. Excuse me. Um, so what you would do is you would just copy um, what is in these dark gray boxes and paste it into your, um, into your, onto your command line, hit enter and see what happens. And then you go to the next one and you run plot data plane and you know, kind of read in between. And then um, if any, oh, go ahead. No, what were we gonna say, Hank? I was just gonna say, you know, feel free to ask 
questions throughout the week um, if you have cloud issues or I know there's a couple of people who want to um, spin up this AWI AMI on their own cloud account um, and I'll I can help with that as well. Uh, ben just put in a, that there's a permission issue. Let's Make sure see. not create the directory. Uh, <laughs> yep, I was just uh, stepping through real fast, and that's I hit that. Yeah, that's okay. That's good. That's um, thank you, Ben, for trying that. So we switched from using an admin user to the EC2 user, and I think I'll have to change the path. So let me work on that, and um, there should be a quick fix. It's it's trying to send a directory to home admin net plus. Yep, I will, uh, I will go see what I can do to fix that. No um, yep, but thanks for trying that out. Oh, stumbling into corner case problems yeah, right. <laughs> is my specialty. So I was going to say, are you one of those that's uh, very good at that? But, uh, Absolutely. If you want, know. if you want to find out where your software breaks, uh, hand that's it to it. me. I will stumble into it. That's awesome. All right, well, I think uh, this is the end of this session, Ben. I'll work on your problem. I'm sure everybody else will have the same one. Um, and um, we will see you guys again um, next week. So thank you. Thanks, all. Thanks, Hank. Thanks, Hank. Thanks. Thanks. See you next week.